Wow, it's getting wet. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get from Toronto Union Station, the busiest train station in Canada, to this, Niagara Falls, one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. Not only that, I'm gonna show you one of the oldest funiculars and an incline railway, all here in Niagara Falls. I'm Mike, the channel's down your line. Let's go back to this morning with stride, show you how to get here. We are in Toronto. Today we're going from Toronto Union Station to Niagara Falls. It's a casual train vlog, not the big adventures I usually do. It's just, thought I'd bring you along, get out of the city for a little bit. Man, I hate this. Uh, I have no idea where my platform is. I'm just gonna ask someone. Excuse me, can you give me? Oh my gosh, of all the people I could have asked, it's Reese. RM Transit on YouTube, the transit expert in Toronto. He knows everything about the TTC, the GO train, via rail, international trains. Can you see him, Mike? And he knows who I am. <laughs> okay, it was planned. Uh, you want to show us around Toronto Union Station? Sounds good. The expert. Let's go. So this is the GO train. It's a regional train, which basically is a hub and spoke out of Toronto Union Station here. And as you can see, they are bi-level trains, multiple levels. If you like the top floor, you get better views. But, Reese. What does GO of GO Transit stand for? Government of Ontario. There you go. I, I actually didn't know that. This is what the beauties of having Reese here. One thing about Toronto Union Station, you have to love leaving or arriving and seeing the CN Tower. John Street Tower, this is where they control all the switches for the station entrance, basically. It looks so old. Is it, is it still used? It is, I believe, but they're going to be phasing it out. They have a whole new electronic system they're installing at the moment. I figured something like this here in Toronto should be digital or electronic. Well, they're still using the old machine from like the 1900s that has all these kind of manual moving mechanical parts. So they're ripping that out because they don't make the parts anymore. I'm pretty sure they have to make their own parts for it. Wow. Wow, love that. Reese, I have to say, this is one of the quietest, smoothest trains I've been on in a long time. It's lovely, isn't it? It's actually quite nice. I mean, we're going faster than the traffic at this point. I'm quickly becoming very impressed with this system. So we have Go Transit has their yard on this side and Via Rail has theirs on this side. And trust me when I say, we will get on these soon. Don't you worry. So what's with the different color schemes? You've got the lime so, green, the yeah, old so this green. Is the new one. This old one is meant, I think it's meant to be the same color as the highway sign. You know, the classic oh, kind of green of yeah. the highway signs because Go is kind of originally was conceived as like part of the highway network, you know, to relieve right. the highways. So they oh. use that kind of iconic color. So Go Transit has these massive parking lots so you can park and ride, park there, hop on board and ride. They have a lot of parking rates. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not ideal, but Go actually owns more parking than anyone else in North America. They have like 80,000 parking spots across the Toronto area. Not great, but at least people are taking the train. Holy cow. Toronto, let's get on trains. Okay, let's check out the train here. Oh. So the trains are that great system of a lower level, kind of the mid level at each end, and the upper level here. I didn't think there would be washrooms on board. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we haven't had this on the channel for a long time, but we're about to do a Downey Live bathroom tour. Woo! Pretty standard, paper towel, garbage, toilet, clean blue water. Well, we've got soap on one side, Darling. and two mirrors. Two mirrors! Have to admit, wasn't that exciting. It's good to know we've got it. Sorry. So as you come in to open the door, I pulled the handle, but I noticed Reese just waved his hand. There's a sensor right there. COVID friendly doors. You don't have to touch the handles, just flap your hand <laughs> above your head. So we now have to change to a bus, or I do. Reese and I are gonna split at this point. Other than the bell, this train is quite quiet. For a train that's not electrified, is it battery operated? It's a hybrid? Diesel engine at the end. So uh, now it's getting louder. I get it. So you can take the GO train all the way to Niagara Falls, but it only runs like that on the weekends. And Via Rail used to also operate out of Toronto Union Station to Niagara Falls, but they've cut back due to COVID. So we have to get off here and switch to a bus. And this is where Reese has to split off. So thanks for all your local knowledge. You can follow at RM Transit on YouTube for all your train needs, really. Yeah, good <laughs> luck, man. Ride safe, Reese. Nice to meet you. We weren't fast enough to get the front row. 
We got second row. Good. Thank you. See ya. So this is it. I, I don't know why I envisioned it dropping us off right next to the falls. So now we have to find the falls. Hello. Can you take me to the falls? Yeah. All right. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look at this. It's like a park city. It's like a mini CN Tower. Perfect, thank you. Look at that. We're at the falls. <laughs> we made it. It's pretty big, pretty impressive. It's like a tropical forest. It's so warm here, but so humid and moist and damp from the mist coming off the falls. The gardens are beautiful. Everything is wet. So we're at Niagara Falls, but there are two inclined railways or funiculars that I want to show you here. So the falls incline railway uses a 500 watt AC motor, electric motor at the top with two drive shafts, one going out each side to turn a bull wheel that pulls the cables one up, one down. So they operate in sync together, as you can see. Pretty simple system, costs three bucks each way. I think they could have put in a staircase, but it's fun. The other one though, I'm really interested in. Thank you very much. It is exactly a one minute ride, which means you pay $3 or $1 per 20 seconds that you ride. But because it's electric powered and Niagara Falls has a hydroelectric dam here, it means this incline railway is 100% powered by Niagara Falls. Pretty interesting. Now, uh, what I'm gonna show you next is actually back down at the bottom. So we're just gonna hop back on. It's $3 to come up, but if you buy a return ticket, it's $6, so it, it doesn't save you anything. This is the funicular that takes you down to the Hornblower Niagara's Cruises. As you can see, there's a split in the middle, a little diamond. That's because the two funiculars, one at each end, go up and down at the same time and they just happen to pass right there. So normally we would take that to get down to the boat, but due to COVID, we need extra spacing between people, social distancing, and these don't have the capacity to get enough people down to the boats. So instead, they use the elevators, which have us coming out this hallway here. So we don't get to ride that today. But we'll go on the boat. So in the winter time, the river freezes and the falls freeze too. So they have to get the boats out up this little ramp and they have all these massive boat holders on an angle, pull all the boats up here and store them on this, on train tracks to get them in and out of the water. So one of the staff members that just scanned my ticket is normally a funicular operator. And he says he's seen photos of it here at least taken in the 1930s. They actually redid it three years ago. So it's too bad we don't get to ride it, but we'll take the boat. Everyone else is going upstairs, which Frankly, the views upstairs would be great, but when no one else is coming here, we get the whole front of the boat to ourselves. That's what we do here. Don't follow the pack. Woo, here it is. We've come all this way for this. Very good. Woo! Here we go, finally we made it under the falls. And, well, once you get down here, it's so misty and so wet, you can't see much, but this is what we came for, and when it's a hot summer day, it feels so refreshing. <laughs> that was great. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Michael. The channel is Downy Live, and I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me, so we'll see you next Saturday.